Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to teach you how to update your Mac to the latest OS Sierra. So before you do that, make sure to do a backup on your time machine. This will help you if you guys want to go back into the other OS. Okay, whatever OS you're at, you may want to go back to it um, because some of your software might not work. So I actually would check if your software is compatible with the new OS and then do my update. If it's not compatible, I would just skip it and then just wait until it becomes available for this OS. Anyways, once you guys have done your backup with Time Machine, which I suggest doing, and that works with an external hard drive for sure. So we're just gonna back it up. So once we back it up, all we have to do is go into the Apple logo up here, go into the App Store and do it from there. So just click on updates up here. Click on updates and you guys should see this. If you guys don't see that, just go to a search bar, which is up here on the right hand corner and type in Mac OS Sierra. From there, you guys just have to click on free upgrade and there you go. So it's gonna download the OS first and then it's gonna install it. So make sure that your backup on Time Machine is done before that. Time Machine does work with an external hard drive. I do have a different video showing you guys how to do this Time Machine. And I really, really highly, highly suggest doing it before. Anyways, um, just make sure nothing will happen when this is installing. Um, when it's downloading, it doesn't matter, it's only 4 gigs. So just make sure you have that space. If you guys don't have 4 gigs, make sure you have a lot more than just 4 gigs. Make sure you have 20 gigs at least. The more full you have your, your MacBook, the slower it will be. Same thing goes for those of you who like to put a bunch of stuff in your desktop. You may want to clean that up, that also makes your Mac kind of slow. The process of downloading and installing should not take more than 30 minutes, but then again, it depends on your download speed. For 4 gigs, if um, you have pretty slow internet, it could take an hour or so. If it's taking more than that, then well, you have to wait. Um, and it's always faster if you have it hooked up your MacBook into your Ethernet cable. Um, that always works faster than Wi-Fi, usually. Once the OS is downloaded, you guys will follow these steps. So just click on continue. Let me just zoom in for you guys see a little bit better there we go click on continue from there you guys have to agree to this if you don't well then you can't install this so agree agree again and then you guys have to select your disk so at this point just make sure you're selecting the right thing if you have several disks again just make sure you're selecting the right one so for sure we want our HD there we go and this again it shouldn't take that long but again it is a good update that it, it, it's pretty big update actually it's not a little one you are switching from one os to another now this one does come with siri and so on so some changes are pretty cool and other ones that you guys might not like anyways this will restart So once we're done installing, just go into your app store and you guys will see that uh, you may have to update a few apps in there, such as numbers, pages, and so on. Once you're done that, we're pretty much done. You guys will notice that you have Siri for now on. Um, there's also a few other features, of course, but the main one is Siri. And um, yeah, you guys should take the tour that the Mac will give you an option just to check out what's going on. Anyways, that's it for this tutorial. If you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.